Hello and welcome to your 26th C++ lesson and in this lesson we're going to go over the this keyword so let's get a basic program structure set up our stream is standard the main function in fact, let's add another include for getting character okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a class, which I've imaginatively called class name. And in the public section for this class, we're going to have a variable. Again, it's going to have a very imaginative name, var name. <laughs> and then we're going to have a function, which we're going to call output var. And what it does is it takes an int which it calls var name. Now this is where the program could start to get a little bit confused. So what we have is in the class we have a var name variable for the class and this function also takes a variable and it calls that variable var name. And all this is going to do is going to see out var name. Now this is where the issue comes in. Should it output this var name or should it output this var name? Right, let's create an object. So, class name, object, and go object dot output var. Oops, not var. Output var. And we're going to give it 20. So, what it's going to do, it's going to call output var with 20. So, var name, the functions version, is 20. So, now this has C out var name. Now, what it's going to do, is it's going to output this var name, the functions var name. It's not going to output this general var name because the function by default it uses its own variables. So let's just debug this. It should output 20. Okay, what have we got? Ah, oh, sorry, this is an int, isn't it? Let's make this a void, sorry. It shouldn't have been an int. There we go. 20. And remember, it outputs 20 because the function uses its own variables because it's inside the function. Now, this is where the this keyword comes in. So, let's say, what if we wanted to use this far name and not this far name? Well, what we do is we would say, in fact, first of all, because it's not set to anything, let's set something. So, this var name. Now, this is how. So, when we say this var name, it then goes to this instead of the function's default. So this var name equals 5 is setting this up here to 5 instead of saying this to 5 which would happen if we just said var name equals 5. So this var name is 5 so that's 5 and then we're just going to see out var name and then we're going to see out this var name. So what it should do is it should output the number we give it and then it should output 5 because we've set this variable which we use which we uh, set things and get things from it using the this keyword. So we've set this to 5 we then see out the number we give it and we then see out 5. Okay, so let's just debug this. Remember we're still giving it 20. Okay, 20 and then 5. So that's really all it is. It's really quite simple. All it is, is instead of using the default function variable, it'll use the class variable. Or the variable isn't necessarily in its direct range. So that's the end of this lesson. It's really simple, and it can come in useful in loads and loads of different instances. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.